New York City's Parks and Recreation Department maintains more than 170 basketball courts in Brooklyn. And over two weeks of spring and summer, I went to the mall. The goal of the project was to figure out which courts were the best and the worst. I went to each court and graded them in four different categories. Size, quality of the playing surface, quality of the baskets, and ambiance. Each category was worth 25 points, meaning the maximum score a court could have was 100. The first category was size, so I went to every court and counted how many baskets there were. More baskets, more points. And I gave an extra point to full courts like the one right here. The second category is quality of the playing surface. I'm checking to see whether the court is slippery, whether it's level, whether it has potholes, and whether you can clearly see the paint. Some courts had cracks so wide that weeds grew in them. The third category is quality of the basket. Is the rim or the backboard rickety? Is it bent? Is it both? And the fourth category is ambiance. Now that's the most subjective category, but I'm basically trying to answer the question, is this a nice park? Is there shade? Are there a lot of people hanging around? Are the trees alive? Right now, I'm at Brooklyn Bridge Park Pier 2 and out of more than 170 courts I visited, this was the only one to score a perfect 100. My three favorite things about it, number one, the playing surface is new, it's a year old, and it's totally smooth and perfect. Number two, it has plexiglass backboards and also nets, which is a total rarity in New York City. And number three, this court might have one of the best basketball court views in the entire world. And the funny thing is, this basketball court is just a short walk away from what I found to be one of the worst courts in Brooklyn, Bridge Park. <laughs>